thank you uh, uh yeah Adhik is giving us yeah. 5 minutes no yeah 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 okay so nowadays uh, whatever happens we think it is due to covid because whatever we don't know we think it is due to covid i will show you one case for example like that 23 year old female presented with floaters and scotoma sudden uh, onset uh, since one month she had hearing problem was using hearing aids from childhood history of covid one month back and after that uh, she got uh, mild covid and after that she got this symptoms of some uh, scotoma patchy scotoma and floaters so this was the picture when i thought uh, there is something in the disc a little hyperemic mild pigment changes in the periphery so we did a extensive workup uh, oct did not show any hyperreflective dots or anything like that reasonably fine uh, no edema rnfl was normal uh, erg we did a mild reduction in the photopic and scotopic uh, more in the photopic than scotopic visual field we did a peripheral uh, uh, inconclusive uh, peripheral uh, field effects something like a, a clover leaf probably then this is a fundus picture if you see the periphery is having something like uh, pigment clumps and all in the periphery uh, probably early bone corpuscle sort of thing uh, we don't know uh, then uh, this with this was angiogram uh, you can see that uh, there is leakage from the peripheral blood vessels uh, in the peri i mean uh, all these uh, vessels are leaking uh, small vessels microangiopathy in the right eye also this is early this is a little later phase and the periphery is some non perfusion is there. but uh, no disc uh, disc is not at all hot in the uh, all the phases so some investigations were done uh, man to was all these uh, investigations came negative we had a suspicion of vasculitis so i sent them to a, a, a person who is expert in covid so i thought it is uh, microangiopathy secondary to covid so he started on oral steroids i started on nsaid drops and uh, he gave the flossa code mycophenolate mofetil all this stuff uh, and uh, absolutely no change in fact uh, after uh, one one and a half months there was absolutely no change repeat oct was same and even the uh, uh, fundus uh, fluorescein angiography did not show any change disc is not hot uh, uh, the the peripheral uh, leakage is similar so vision was 6 by 6 floaters same so i told them that nothing is happening so maybe may not be related to covid uh, so my uh, fellows uh, found that there is a connection between the uh, uh, hearing loss and uh, probably this thing so they thought maybe this is uh, uh, retinitis pigmentosa ashtar syndrome or susak syndrome so i had a uh, I mean uh, and it is not related to covid because i don't know because i have not seen this i uh, referred the books and they said that in susak syndrome and all you get uh, retinal uh, artery occlusions branch artery occlusions so this was the case uh, uh, i don't think we decided yeah ultimately we thought it is not due to covid